As the title suggests, we're going to cover Line 2 gear. Now, the only thing uh, missing from this would be your actual Line 2. I actually have a couple of different options, my Alice LBE system, but uh, on there I actually have attached uh, some extra items that are on here, and I'll just cover that right now. Uh, right here I have a knife. Obviously, the, the kind of knife that you have is optional if you even have a knife in your Line 2 and not your Line 1. You know, it, that, that is totally up to you. The next is I actually have pace counting beads, or also known as ranger beads. Depends on how you want to use it, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and talk about line two really quick. We're talking about light infantry, so this looks a lot more sparse than, you know, maybe line one. Line one mostly was about options and different operations that you have, like I had OC in there and stuff like that. You might want to put OC on, you know, line two because... You're going to want to have it on your equipment. You may, that may be, you know, your thing. So, you know, you got to make that decision, right? So, anyways, um, for my line two, I have at least one quart of water, right? So, then I have at least six magazines, totaling, obviously, 180 rounds. Um, so, uh, you could carry more, but that's the minimum amount that I'm going to have. And then here I have a ration and uh, water purification tablets. Now, there's going to be a ration for every um, canteen of water. So for every quart of water, there's going to be a ration, and that's a Mayday ration. So as you can see here, it's a 400 calorie little mini meal, right? And these are actually pretty good, and they're not thirst provoking, but they are loaded with vitamins and minerals, which you are gonna need. If you're taking in water, you need to take in something with it. Uh, studies have shown that those people that sit there and drink an obsessive amount of water, like uh, empty three liters of water and they don't replenish uh, their food sources, then they're just watering down the electrolytes in their system. Uh, so here I have um, water purification tablets for, you know, obvious reasons if you have to refuel or refill your water. Now, this line two water, let me just cover this right now. Line two water is not for regular drinking. That is for emergency uses. And so these are coupled together. So this chow is not for, you know, oh, you get a little package on patrol. Absolutely not. This is your, you know, evasion ration where you don't really have a choice because you don't have your pack with you. Okay, with that settled, let's go ahead and move on. This is a binocular. I do not believe in binoculars. I don't need a binocular in order to see things. And it's actually a small one. It's pretty small. Uh, so as you can see here. Pretty small, very lightweight, not even a pound, just a couple of ounces, just a little solo, 10 power by 25 millimeters. So, you know, not that much uh, range, but it works really good. And of course you can adjust the uh, focus and stuff like that. Next to it, I have my lensatic compass. Now it's not a, it's not using a, um, like a tritium or anything. It doesn't have the tritium. It's actually just phosphorescent, so it actually has to have a light put on it in order to start glowing. So it just gives you limited amounts of light at night, which, you know, I guess is okay or whatever, but, you know, yeah. So below it, is, and obviously you know what a compass is for, right? So below it, that is actually camouflage cream from Predator War Paint. And this is actually relatively old, but it is actually silenced. I used uh, um, electrical tape to deaden the sound of it because, you know, this stuff can actually be pretty uh, loud and it actually has a can opener here. Uh, it was really designated for hunters and stuff. So here I actually have a piece of electrical tape rolled up because this thing is sitting so close, as you can see, the uh, camouflage cream got on the uh, uh, little mirror. And then I put this thing on here to deaden it because it was just rattling around really easily. So this just deadens the, uh, the clanking on the camouflage cream. Uh, so next I have my IFAC insert and just three items. Very quickly, uh, two hemostat methods. So I have a plunger with a powder insert and then or I have, uh, I have Sealox uh, powder and I have a plunger insert uh, so you can stick it down into the bleed, uh, into the arterial bleed and then insert that powder uh, a lot faster than using gauze, but I do have gauze right there in case it is, you know, a little too deep. And then I have the uh, Aleus bandage right there, so it also ha it has gauze, has a bandage, has an occlusive dressing, so 
it, it's got that all in one. Is it going to be perfect to everything? No, but it just has that. It does have those capabilities. And we're talking about light infantry. We want to be light and effective, right? Uh, line two gear, very simple. This is your fighting load. Uh, this is all the stuff you're going to need for you know the basic operations. Once you dump your pack, you might have to transfer a couple things over uh, in order to help. You might have grenades or whatever. Uh, you know, and that depends on your fight. But anyways. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and we'll move on to line three here real soon. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a good one.